This video is sponsored by Rizlone. Visit Rizlone.com to learn more. An internal combustion engine ignites a mixture of gasoline and oxygen with a high voltage spark. Unfortunately, a residual quantity of hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxide are sometimes left over after combustion. A catalytic converter breaks down these byproducts and recombines these pollutants to form harmless gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor. Inside the converter, precious metal catalyst beds accelerate these chemical reactions without being consumed by the process itself. The precious metals used as catalysts inside a converter are distributed over a ceramic honeycomb substrate. Over time, the precious metals can separate from the ceramic elements or become poisoned by substances like phosphorus, zinc, and silica. On some vehicles that are running too rich, the catalyst beds can become blocked by carbon deposits. The health of the converter is monitored by oxygen sensors mounted upstream and downstream of the converter. The ECM looks at the information from the oxygen sensors to determine if the catalytic converter is functioning. Basically, is looking to make sure oxygen levels increase after the gases leave the converter. The ECM is continuously looking at the oxygen sensors when they are warm enough to function during open loop operation. The tester monitor scores the converter using a number called catalyst efficiency. A new converter will be 99% efficient. If the number drops below a program threshold, such as 92%, a code is set and the check engine light is turned on. This is the dreaded P0420 code for catalyst system efficiency below threshold for bank one, or P0430 for bank two. So what is the cure? The answer is typically upstream. The cause can range from a leaking head gasket to even the wrong oil in the crankcase. It is critical to diagnose these issues before replacing a catalytic converter or even an oxygen sensor. But in some cases, it comes down to the age of the catalytic converter itself. The longevity and effectiveness of the converter are determined by the amount of precious metals present on the honeycomb substrate. If you get a P0420 or a P0430, first solve problems changing the combustion chamber's conditions before you start throwing parts at the code. I'm Joe Keen and thanks for watching.